guys, so welcome with our second grading topics. We start with polynomial functions. So when you say polynomial function, it is the function in the form of p of x equals to a sub n x raised to n plus a sub n minus 1 times x raised to n minus 1 plus and so on and so forth plus a sub 1 x plus a sub 0. So, this topic is just like polynomial equation. Ang pinagkaiba lang po, ang polynomial equation ay laging naka-equate into 0. While, a polynomial function is always equate into p of x, f of x, h of x, g of x, and so on and so on. So forth. So, lagi ka may makikita ang variable with the letter. Okay? So, ang tawag sa kanya, kapag ganun ka na, meron ka nakalipan ganun, is a function. So, itong letter P na to ay pwedeng maiba ng kahit anong letters. Okay? So, take note that a polynomial functions, uh, any var, uh, polynomial function P of X is always equal into Y. Okay? So, kapag may f of x ka dyan nakita, it is always equal into y. Right? Take note of that. Then, so, n here must be always be a positive integers. Why? Kasi yung exponent niya ng polynomials must not be negative, a radicals, a fraction, or not an imaginary numbers. Kapag nagkaroon, nagkaroon ng ganun ang inyong exponent ng inyong variable, it is not a polynomial. Okay? So, take note that n or the exponent must be always a positive integers. Next, we have here a sub 0. a sub 0, a sub 1, then a sub n minus 1, then a sub n. So, yun naman yung ating tinatawag na numerical coefficient. Okay? Laging katabi ni variable x. Numerical coefficient. Then, the number without a variable that is a sub 0, ang tawag sa kanya ay constant term. Okay? Yung dulo ay constant term without a variable. Then, yung pinakauna, this one, a sub n times x raised to n, ang tawag sa kanya ay leading term. So, leading term is consists of the highest degree polynomial. The highest variable with um, variable with the highest exponent. Is it clear? Then, the numerical coefficient na katabi ni nung variable na may pinakamalaking exponent, ang tawag sa kanya ay leading coefficient. Is it clear? So, let us have an example of polynomial function. Let's have our first example. It says that we have p of x is equals to 3x raised to 4 plus 4x cubed minus 2x squared plus 5x minus 6. So, we are going to find for the leading term. So, how will you say so that it is a polynomial function? Okay, so we have here a function. Then, our exponents are all positive. The exponent of the variable is all positive. So, therefore, it is an example of polynomial function. Now, let us determine the leading term. Again, when you say leading term, the, na, uh, the term with the highest exponent. So, obviously, the term with the highest exponent is this one. We have 3x raised to 4. So, si 3x raised to 4 is our leading term. Next, leading coefficient. So, what is your leading coefficient? When you say leading coefficient, it is the numerical coefficient ni leading term. So, since this one is a leading term, what is the numerical coefficient? We have 3. So, that is your leading coefficient. Next, degree. When you say degree, what is the highest exponent? So, our degree, we have here 4. Okay? So, yun yung ating degree. It is in the 4th degree. Alright? So, our degree is 4th degree. Yeah. If 
para mas clear. Then, what's the constant term? So, when you say constant term, this is the number without any variable. So, ano yung number without any variable here? So, we have here 6. Negative 6. So, that is our constant term. Okay? So, take note class that the form of a polynomial should be from, the exponent should be up from the highest to lowest. Tingnan nyo, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. So, kailangan lagi siya naka-arrange from highest to lowest. Ma'am, paano pag hindi naka-arrange from highest to lowest? So, you need to arrange it from highest to lowest. Okay? So, I will give examples kapag uh, hindi siya naka-arrange into highest to uh, highest exponent to lowest exponent. Okay? Let's have the next example. Example number 2. We have here f of x is equal to x times x minus 3. Okay? As you can see, it is not in the standard form. So, you are going to simplify this one. How will you simplify? You are going to multiply x to the um, binomial. So, x times x, then x times negative 3 by using the distributive property. Okay? So, the standard form of this example, we have here f of x, just copy the function, is equal to x times x. So, we have here x squared, and then x times negative 3, the answer is negative 3x. So, that's the standard form. So, as you can see, the exponent is 2, 1. Okay? So, pa ta taas, pa baba. So, tama na to. Now, let us determine the leading term. The term with the highest exponent. Ano yun? So, we have here x squared. So, that is the leading term. Next, the leading coefficient. What is the coefficient of this leading term? Ano yung kanya numerical coefficient? So, since we have here x squared only, we have here invisible 1. So, the leading coefficient, we have 1. Next, let us have the degree. So, what's the degree? The highest exponent. So, we have here 2. So, therefore, it is in the second degree. Okay? The second degree or simply 2. Next, constant term. Do we have a constant term? Wala, ba? So, we have here 0. Okay? Let's move with the next example. Number 3. So, we have here y equals to 4x squared minus 3x raised to 4 plus 5. So, as you can see, the exponent is not on the highest to lowest. So, what you are going to do? You are going to arrange. You are going to arrange without changing the sign. Okay? Kasi hindi naman tayo pupunta dun sa kabilang side ng equal sign. So, you will just change it. Interchange the position of the term. Okay? Without any changing the sign. So, let us have this one. y is equals to 4x squared minus 3x raised to 4 plus 5. So, since ang pinakamataas ay si x raised to 4, so, yun yung unahin mo. So, we have here y, just copy y, is equal to then, negative 3x raised to 4. Then, just copy, that is positive, plus 4x squared, then plus 5. O, ayan na. So, our exponent is from 4 to then 0. Okay, so we're done. So, that is the standard form. Now, what's the leading term? So, yung pinakaumpisa yung ating leading term. So, highest exponent, so x raised to 4. So, our leading term is negative 3x raised to 4. What is our leading coefficient? Our leading coefficient is the numerical coefficient of the leading term. What is it? So, we have here negative 3. Next, what's the degree? Highest exponent. So, we have here 4. The degree is in the fourth degree. Or simply, we have here 4. Next, constant term. The number without any variable, that is 5. That is our constant term. Is it clear? Let's move with the next one. 
So, just like number 3, yung number 4 natin, kailangan nating i-arrange ulit. So, our given as h of x is equal to 3 minus 2x plus x cubed. Okay? So, let us arrange it into the standard form by interchanging the terms. So, we have here h of x is equal to, so highest exponent, we have here x cubed. So, we have x cubed. The next one is the uh, one lang exponent niya. So, we have minus 2x. Then, we have the constant term plus 3. So, that is the standard form. What's the leading term? So, the term with the highest exponent. Ito. We have here x cubed. Okay? Next, what is the leading coefficient? What is the variable, uh, the coefficient of x cubed? We have here 1. What's the degree? Highest exponent, that is in the third degree, or simply 3. Then, the constant term, the number without any variable, we have here 3. Okay? Next, let us move with the next example. Let's have num example number 5. We have a given here of g of x is equal to x times x plus 1 times x plus 2. So, not in the standard form, so we are going to change it into standard form. We are going to distribute x, and then this one is, um, we have FOIL method, okay? So, we have here g of x, okay? So, umpisahan muna natin dito, ipasok muna natin yung x dun sa x plus 1. So, we have here, this one becomes x squared plus 1 times x, we have x. Then, this one just copy, we have x plus 2. Then, foil method tayo. Lagay ko dito. So, x squared times x, so we have x cubed. Just add the exponent, diba? Then, x squared times 2, that is plus 2x squared. Next, x times x, that is plus x squared. Then, x times 2, that is plus 2x. Okay? Next, just combine like terms. Yung parehas na may exponent na 2. Combine mo yan. So, therefore, this one just copy. x cubed. 2x squared plus x cubed. We have plus 3x squared. Diba? 2 plus 1 dito. Okay? Then, plus 2x. So, that is the standard form. Next tayo, find the leading term. So, what is the leading term? When na, uh, the variable with the highest exponent, obviously, x cubed. What's the leading coefficient? Uh, what's the coefficient of x cubed? We have here, positive 1. Next tayo, what's the degree? Ang ating degree ay, third degree. Third degree, or we have here, 3. Next, the constant term. Do we have a variable, uh, a term with a number with without variable? Wala, diba? So, the, our constant term, we have here, 0. So, that is a polynomial function and standard of polynomial function.